Hi everyone, thanks for checking out the video. This is two recommended movements for a better chest development. So uh, the pectoral area was always a weaker area for me. Um, I've always had good genetics when it comes to my back and my arm development, but however, my pectoralis major and minor tended to lag behind. Um, when I started out, obviously I didn't have a lot of equipment. So one of the things I did was started into body weight training and also working with just a pair of basic dumbbells. These were two exercises that I found early on would engage more of the chest um, and also eliminated a lot of the other muscles that used to take over. Um, the thing that I'm gonna recommend also is it's very important to learn about mind to muscle. If you don't know about mind to muscle, mind to muscle connection is basically where you're mentally trying to stimulate the right muscles to do the actual work. As you get fatigued, it's very easy to just go through the motions in an exercise. And this is a bad idea, especially if you're trying to sculpt or build muscle. If other muscles are always doing the work for the muscle area that you want to improve, then you're never gonna improve that zone. So always remember, especially as you're getting fatigued, M to M or mind to muscle. Keep your mind in the muscle you're trying to develop. So let's talk about the exercises a little bit. So you'll see here we've got floor flies. And uh, the, I recommend this one because a lot of the time people will see this on uh, benches, in gyms, and a lot of the time people don't have the control over the weight um, and they end up uh, overextending the shoulder, damaging the rotator cuff, and damaging the front delts. So doing these on the floor, you've kind of got this element of, one, it keeps it in the actual pectoral movement, but also you've got to control it because you don't want to hit your elbows on the floor. Your hands are slightly wider than the elbows and the elbows are only slightly bent, but you are trying to keep that control all the time and touch your elbows gently to the floor each time. Back to the tricep or close hand push up. We're keeping the hands in close and the elbows pointed down towards the feet. The closer the elbows are in, the more pectoral um, connection you get. Uh, rather than putting your elbows out to the sides, which allows the deltoids, the biceps, the triceps, and everything else to jump in. The floor flies again, just to reiterate, it's very important to keep them slow and controlled. You want to feel the muscle actually working, stretching, and then having to make an effort to pull the weights back up again. Your arms are only holding the weights. What I'm really concentrating on here is the movement of the chest and pulling my pectorals together. The shoulders and arms really are only a small part of what I'm doing. The feet are up or the legs are up at 90 degrees. The abs are tight, but the only thing that I'm trying to concentrate on is my chest and getting the chest to do the work. Thanks very much for checking out the video guys. Please make sure to like, subscribe and comment.